Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary. Thank you for being here, and thank you for visiting Man Grand Staff VAMC in Spokane earlier this year. Uh, I appreciate your commitment to stay involved in these issues. Um, but let me just say, back in 2019, I heard about outstanding infrastructure issues and the ongoing staffing challenges that could make implementation of this new EHR system at Man Grand Staff more difficult and ultimately threaten patient care. And because of those reports, I cautioned the VA back in January of 2020 in a letter to make sure that they prioritized veterans' access to care and support for the staff. Um, that was over a year and a half ago, and these issues should have been addressed, as, as you know. And since the implementation of the Cerner program last October, um, I've heard, like you just talked about, a number of serious patient safety issues that could put our veterans at risk. And I'm also, I want you to know, very troubled by reports of exhausted staff who are struggling to use the system because of the workflow, workflow design issues, lack of adequate training. Um, and I expect those issues to be resolved. I know you know that as well. Um, but I would like to ask when the strategic review is completed, I would like your team to give us a detailed briefing on how that is going to help folks in Washington yep. State. Um, I know you inherited it. This multi-year, multi-billion dollar electronic record health modernization program and all the challenges that come with it. But I know we confirmed you for this position because of your management skills and the ability to tackle hard problems. And I know you know we need leadership to get this back on track. Um, on the topic of patient safety, I just want to share a few examples for the committee that I've heard from clinicians and constituents. Uh, the Mann Grand Staff Medical Director reported in an April 2021 hearing that 247 patient safety reports had been documented since go live, which is a troubling number to say the least. I heard of cases of veterans not receiving the correct medications, and in other cases, medications that have been sent to incorrect addresses. I raised that concern about prescriptions during DOD's botched rollout, and I cautioned the VA about it. Um, this could have been foreseen. Um, and whether those problems are because of poor data migration or flaws in the system, this has just got to be fixed. It's serious, and these problems need to be resolved. And Mr. Secretary, I'd like to ask you, who's responsible for reviewing the EHR workflow design specifically for patient safety? Well, right now we have a patient safety team on the ground. And so one of the things that came out of my visit is we sent a team, a patient safety team to Spokane. We now have a patient uh, safety team resident on the ground. But at the end of the day, I guess my presence here today, I'm telling you that uh, I'm taking responsibility for these decisions. Okay. Um, can you commit to reviewing this system and giving this committee um, yes. the results of that? Yes. Okay. And I, I'm also really troubled um, by staff burnout and attrition. I know you know this. When it comes to training staff or not being adequately prepared to navigate a system that makes what used to take just a few clicks now is a lot more complicated. Providers are burning out as they try to balance caring for the veterans, which is their charge, and navigating this new EHR system. Um, how is the VA support staff um, through this transition and working to keep morale up and avoid burnout? Well, the, it's a, a perfect question. I mean, uh, the, we do have... Uh, consistent with the pandemic uh, as well as uh, with the added requirements of EHR, uh, some management incentives available to our uh, team there. So we're making sure that we're using those. Uh, we're trying to be sensitive to the many demands on the team on the ground. So we're trying to manage uh, the obvious, obvious intense interest across the enterprise and what's happening there. But we're trying to make sure that people have distance to do their work. Um, and then I also am trying to communicate uh, directly, as I did earlier today with the uh, Med Center Director, Dr. Fisher, um, that they're not on, in this on their own, that we're in this together. Okay, well, I, you know, I had extensive discussions with the VA before the rollout in Spokane, and I insisted that the VA have plans for mitigating the loss of productivity so veterans didn't um, lose their access to care, increasing staffing and clinical space to compensate, making sure that the physical and IT infrastructure was ready, and I was told repeatedly that everything was under control, um, yet the VA could not get additional off clinical space. There wasn't enough staff for providers, even before COVID hit. 
Um, and that's just one example. The facility actually had to put a tarp over one of the new servers to keep water from leaking on it and destroying it. So as we um, go transit, transition to other facilities, we've got to make sure that space and staffing and infrastructure and anything they, else they have they need before they go live. Um, and, and my time is out, but I just want to say one thing really quickly. I, I, I was very disturbed um, uh, from the leaders from the VA OHRM change management withheld some tech, uh, training evaluation data that was requested by the OIG and altered other data prior to sending it to the, D to the OIG. The integrity and thoroughness of information provided by VA is required by law and it is critical to the OIG's mission. So lying to, withholding information from the IG or from Congress for that matter is really outrageous and unacceptable. I know you agree with me on that, but I just want to say very clearly that I, I expect anyone found doing that to be held account accountable immediately. Yeah, I, I uh, absolutely commit to that. And I've, I was just uh, struck by the finding as you are um, and I know you'll hear from the deputy IG uh, in the second panel, but I also know that the IG is looking at that specifically. I, I will look into it myself, um, and if it's confirmed, obviously there will be ramifications for that. Okay. Absolutely. Th thank you so much to your attention, Dolly. Thank you.